Hello, this is Laura123443 and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Rio by Orange and it's on Dolphin. Now, as you can see, the phone's a pretty decent size. It will probably fit in any size hands and it's not really different to the BlackBerry Curve 8520. Now, getting onto the outside of the phone, on the back you have a 2.0 megapixel camera which is pretty good for a phone. The microphone sound speaker, it has no flash. Um, here you have the manufacturer logo, Orange, and this phone is for on Orange so you can't get it in any other shop. Um, on the back it's sort of a black plasticky sort of style which is pretty good for comfort. On the left hand side you have a phone charm, a phone charm holes so you can put your phone charms in, a sound button, a USB port for your computer. On the bottom you don't have anything. On this side you have an SD and memory card slot and a headphone socket which any headphones can go in it and on the top you just have the power on and off button. On the front of your phone you see you have the name of the phone which mostly all phones have. You have the speaker and sound at the top and a four quarter keyboard which is really easy to text. On the actual buttons of the phone you have the end call, this button to get onto your calendar the camera button which gets you straight onto your camera the middle button which has up, down, left and right the internet button which gets you straight onto Orange World or Opera Mini the message button which gets you straight onto sending an SMS and the encore button now let's get onto the actual inside of the phone ok so now let's turn on the phone holding the power button down for 3 seconds the phone should automatically turn on As you can see on the front, it has a pretty decent. <laughs> As you can see on the front of the phone, it has a pretty decent screen, and it has three different sides to it. As you can see, the button, the little dots down there show how many screens there is. Um, it's also a touchscreen phone, and you have different memos. So you have clocks. You also have the date your messaging and all the stuff like that, FM radio. So now getting onto the main menu of the phone, you have call history, contacts, messenger, orange widgets, music, orange world, messaging, organizer, games and applications, multimedia, settings and more. Let's start off with call history. Basically, you can see your calls that you have dialed, your missed calls, your recent calls and the calls that you haven't received. On your contacts, you can add all your contacts. You can contact them to your SIM, your telephone numbers and you can also put them into groups. So friends, family, VIP, business and others. You also have Orange Messenger. Windows Live, so you can do all your messaging. Close that down. And you also have Orange Widgets, which is a simple application that comes with the phone where you can download all different widgets for your phone, such as sports and music. Also, on your main menu, you have a calendar, alarm, tasks, calculator, and file manager, which I'm not sure what it is. Calculator is dead simple. You can use either the keyboard or the touch screen. On also, on your menu, you have messaging. You can write your email, which is connected to the Windows Live Messenger. Write SMS and MMS, which is really easy with the QWERTY keyboard. Let's give it a try. Hi guys, this is a review of the Orange Rio. And up there you simply go to your contacts to add your contacts. You have inbox, drafts, outbox, sent messages, archive, deleted messages, broadcast messages, templates and message settings. Templates is basically 
um, different, they have different sort of designs for the phone. So text message, like, please call me now, how about lunch, be right back, I am busy now, sorry, thank you, how was the day, long time no see, lots of love, how are you, and all those different things, if you can't be bothered to type really. On the phone you also have Orange World, which comes with a phone and is free to browse. You can get free apps off this. For this the internet is pretty fast. Um, I would say it's not the fastest, but um, it has a good internet screen and it doesn't take really that long. Orange World is loading up. And here's the page of Orange World. You have different things. The pictures are still loading free vids and all that stuff. Also on the phone you have music. You can either go to the music store or the audio player which is where you download all your songs. I'd say it would hold about three songs but if you put a memory card in you get more songs. It has a pretty good sound going up to Seven. Also, there is the multimedia, which is Java games, other games, stopwatch, unit converter, currency converter, and world clock. And these are sort of like little apps that you can download. Going on to the Java games and apps, you have Dr. Dr. Kawashima 3 Demo, Tetris, Opera Mini, Orange Widgets, Monopoly, and Windows Messenger. On the multimedia, you have your camera, gallery, video recorder, video player, sound recorder and FM radio, sound effects and stuff. The FM radio only works if you have your headphones in as they are also used as the signal carrier. Let's test out the camera. As you can see, this is the camera. It zooms in up to 2.4 depending on what sort of screen resolution you want. So let's take a picture. Sorry if you can't see this very well. You can change the different shutter sounds when your picture goes. I'd say it has a pretty decent camera. But if you usually use a phone to take pictures, I'd suggest you get a different phone. On your settings, you can turn on your Bluetooth, your profiles, your phone settings, which you can change the date and time, key vibrate language and display, your call settings, network settings and memory settings, security settings, Java settings, all the different settings for the different apps on your phone. Let's check out more. Okay so in more you have your sim like settings, Orange World which we've had a look at, Opera Mini, um, was basically what your internet is, so it has the Facebook app, the Twitter app, um, all that sort of stuff, Google app and all that. Data account, which half of these stuff now I don't know. Licence manager, con management, data counter, I don't know what any of those means, but if you do then I'm guessing it's a good thing. Um, okay, so that's the review of the Orange Rio. I recommend it to the younger age can't afford a blackberry then I'd get this. The prices range from um fifty five to sixty pounds depending on where you get it from. The only shops you can really get it from is like Argos, um the supermarket which sells like the orange phones and stuff, or the orange shop. Um I would definitely recommend this phone. Unfortunately you can't get cases for them because because it's like a phone from orange and not all manufacturers they don't sell the cases so you can put a black case on the phone by all means but it would mean in you have to take the case off if you wanted to take a picture on the camera as the camera isn't in the same place as the black camera it's definitely a good phone um, good for texting on really easy typing easier than the black I'd say the keyboard doesn't mean it's a really steady keyboard uh, thank you um, that was my review on the Orange Rio. Subscribe, comment or like. Um, hopefully I'll get quite a few views. Thank you very much.